Right, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. In a little bit of an interesting one this morning, have you ever wondered if an iron has 18 degrees worth of loft and a fairway wood had 18 degrees worth of loft, what would be the difference in performance? Well, if you haven't wondered why you're watching this video, but for me, I certainly want to know the answer because it's something that I'm going to try. The Strix and Driving Iron, two iron that is, 18 degrees loft. I'm going to pitch it up against a five wood, which again, 18 degrees worth of loft. It's a new Strixon ZF85, is that right? And I want to see, there they are down there, two clubs ready to go. I want to see what the difference is in terms of performance, in terms of what I see in terms of ball flights out there into the range. What is the difference between those two? They've got exactly the same loft, so they should do the same thing, shouldn't they? Only one way to find out. Camera is already out there in the range. Golf balls are ready. It's some golf balls, whack some golf balls and uh, let's see what happens with these two clubs in the hands of the average golfer. Right, so this is a straightforward enough test and one that, like I said, personally interests me quite a lot. I love these driving irons, but I've just had a little bit of a go of this five iron from Srixen and it was literally part of the warm-up. I've actually seen some very different kind of ball flights and what I noticed was that both these two clubs have 18 degrees worth of loft question in my mind was how do they differ in performance because I can see quite a bit of difference in terms of ball flight at least from the five wood this morning but I want to see what they do overall in this head to head so we're going to do this very very simple test I'm going to hit five or six balls from a small five milli tee peg so the option to use both clubs off the tee and then I'm going to stick it onto this tight line onto the uh, mats below me and we're going to try exactly the same shots with both clubs seeing if we can pick it up off that tight lie on a fairway and see what it does. I'm looking at, we'll look at data for comparison purposes because we always do, that's part and parcel of the deal. But I'm interested how they sit, how they look, which one gives the most confidence, which one perhaps is the most forgiving, which one is more suited towards the average golfer. That's it, discussion over. I've thrown some pictures up hopefully of the two um, up against the ball themselves. And let's talk about that confidence bit before I do it a ball, obviously, hitting the bulk and the mass of this great looking five wood um, is probably the more confidence inspiring for the vast majority of people. That's an easy one. However, I love the look of these things. Let's put this down for a second or two anyway. I'm gonna try and pick up some ball flights if we can. Let's have a look. So we're going to start off with the five wood. Like I said, um, there'll be an individual review of this ZF85 coming very soon. The Strix and Fairways have proved to be very, very popular indeed. Um, but I'm just going to take it off this small T-peg for now. Like I said, as you'd expect, looks nice, looks confidence inspiring. Well, you can hopefully pick up from the sound. That was an absolute solid strike to start with for the five wood. Ball flight, what I've noticed with this, um, is extremely high. And like I said, whether we can pick that up from the little camera that I've got placed below uh, at the backdrop here, because it's interesting that a low clubs have, and this is the bit that always interests me when we talk about lofts on irons and stronger or weaker lofter irons and what numbers you put them. It's for me how a ball launches is what is interesting. A relevance of what degree loft is on a club it's how a ball launches i would imagine and like i said i'm pretty confident in saying the launch angle in these things is going to be massively different between the two let's hit one more um off the t peg and then i'm going to collect some data with this off camera ball flights into orbit very easy to hit, very easy to pick up off of that um, off of that lie. Right. Same principle. Let's take after move GC two. At least a GC quad. I wish, and we'll also move camera, and we'll take it from the deck. This is where it becomes for me um, a whole different ball game. It's a club that I particularly struggle with having the confidence to take a five wood, three wood off of the uh, off of the deck. So this one really interests me. Well, once again, decent strike. Hopefully picked it up on the camera. 
That's a slightly lower ball flight. Again, picked it up. You can see just with a slightly wet mark off the bottom of the club face there. So uh, different results expected. So rather than bore you watching me hitting golf balls, I'm gonna hit a uh, good section, uh, maybe like I said, five or six balls with each, um, both off the tee and off of this tight lie underneath my feet. And we'll collect the data for that. That'll be off camera when I finish this little bit of an intro. Well, let's go back now to the driving iron. Let's leave this one off the deck. Let's start this one the other way around. We'll go from the deck to start with. And I suppose this is one of the major differences, first of all, between the two clubs, I think, is when the club is sat behind the ball. Now, interestingly enough for me, and it won't be for everybody, I prefer the driving iron when it's sat onto this tight lie in terms of my confidence, my mentality. Forget performance, I sit this behind the ball and I just, this, for me, it's like having a regular iron in the, in the hand and I would prefer to take an iron, even though the loft is exactly the same, I prefer to take an iron from this lie, this tight lie, than I would from a fairway wood. But that's me personally, and that's where it's gonna differ massively. But the question is, even though I prefer it, am I giving up a lot of performance by opting, at the, at the moment at least, to go down this route? Sits nice. Oh. Down there. It's a bit of a slight right to left draw on that. Come out the middle as well. Nice enough shot. It's something where, like I said, I'd be more than comfortable to take it off that tight lie. The ball flight was hugely different, hugely different. I would almost say it's almost half in terms of peak height there and a totally different ball flight. And often, sometimes, this will equate to where you play as well because that ball would literally, on, on a Lynx course, that ball would run for absolute ever. Whereas, I would imagine, like I said, judging by what I'm seeing out there, that uh, a lot more spin on the five wood going to come down it gives you different options it's a different kind of playing into a par five you ain't going to stop that too high. well I certainly aren't with that kind of ball fight that I've just seen at least on that one um, yeah so lots of things there that you've got to consider between the differences of the two but the major thing in my mind right now first and foremost is these have got exactly the same loft on but the performance ball flight in particular without looking at things like spin is hugely different so we're off the tee now that small same five mil T. Again, really good strike. It's in the ball reasonably well this morning, to be fair. Um, again, you already know this is a club that I game uh, the, the older model of this in the three iron, so I'm more than comfortable with it, like it behind the T as well um, at address. So for me, few things that stand out an absolute mile I've already talked about in the reviews this year I'm going to talk about immediate feedback and thoughts without delving too much into data but I won't be ignoring data is immediate thoughts just from the very small whatever of it four or five shots on camera ball flight hugely different I would imagine spin will be hugely different um, ease in which to hit in terms of distance I'm saying that the five wood is longer judging by the balls that I've hit out there and I hit the five wood off camera as well before we got started. Five wood is longer in terms of distance, in terms of yardage, and perhaps that's where this thing, as much as you, I love them, and others may love them, I just wonder how much you're giving up in terms of overall performance by going for this, rather than the bulk and the mass, the extra bit of MOI, that lower CG place right at the back, how much extra forgiveness is gonna help you with performance right across that club face with the five wood. The only way to find out is me for it some more balls, and we'll have a look specifically at data and numbers and see what the difference between the two is. Right, okay, so there's quite a, lot of bit, quite a bit of data to go through. I don't want this to drag on and get a little too tedious. So I'm gonna point out some very noticeable differences between the two. I'm gonna start off with, let's get the information up for both sets of uh, balls that were struck with the five wood. Let's have a look at some averages. The first set of numbers there is driver from the T. We've got 132 ball speed, 14 degrees worth of launch, 4-2 spin, carrying 200, peak height 31. 14.4 off the deck launch angle, 128 still a good ball speed. Spin drops a little bit as you'd expect, 30 degrees worth of peak height and a slight drop off in carry. All numbers there that I think you would expect between different to be able to pick that ball off off a T 
in comparison to picking it off a tight light on the deck. So that's the numbers from the five wood, they're the important numbers. Let's get those numbers for this two iron up in front of you now. Two iron, 126 ball speed, so a drop off in ball speed, 12.1 launch, 4.3 spin, 24 peak height, 186 carry. And that was off the tee, and then if we go to the balls off the deck, 125 ball speed, 11.7, .7, so again it drops that lower ball flight. 4.4 spin, it was interesting, the spin was actually quite high still, uh, which surprised me. Peak height drops out at 23 and, uh, yards in height, 183 carry. Pretty much glaring differences there, and a real drop off in performance. Um, depending on how you're measuring performance on what you're looking for like i said if you want that depending on where you play if you're out there on the links conditions with a lot of uh, wind coming off that sea then maybe the two iron is the club that lower ball flight firmer fairways it might just give you that performance that you're looking for but for the large majority of us you can see the difference between the two is quite glaringly obvious it doesn't need an explanation from me really interesting uh, comparison video this one for me personally and uh, a real eye-opener as well because a lot of people mentioned when I had a gap in the bag, they were talking about perhaps considering the five wood and it's something that maybe I might just need a closer look at because it performed very well and the Strixen uh, five iron in particular performed excellent both off the tee and off the deck there. So real interesting one. Hope you enjoyed it as ever. Thank you for watching. Your comments are always welcome. Stick them in the box below and uh, I will do my best to reply. See you soon.